Recently, I had the pleasure of chaperoning a church youth retreat to Chattanooga. The theme for the weekend was created. We visited the aquarium and Ruby Falls and took in all the wonders that God has made. I wanted the youth to have a memento as a reminder of this awesome time together. So beforehand, I created cedar crosses in the shape of our Cumberland Presbyterian denominations cross to give out to each person who attended. Let me show you how I made them. Because I needed to make so many, and I needed a high level of precision that I couldn't get from a scroll saw, I took the cedar over to my friend Anthony's house. He was gracious enough to cut all the crosses out on his laser cutter. What you're seeing here is in real time. And this is sped up with time lapse. You can see it does a great job of cutting these out. They're exactly the same every time, and it didn't take very long at all. Because the cutting process generates a lot of smoke, you have to mask off the wood with a masking material. It's kind of like a big piece of masking tape. If you don't mask it off before you cut it, the smoke will leave ghosting on the surface of the wood. If you plan on sanding everything, then that's okay, but it's a whole lot easier to go ahead and mask it off ahead of time. This is also the time I have to poke out all the little scrap pieces of wood that were left in the center. Since I'm going to make these into necklaces, I have to put a little screw eye in the top of each cross. I first poke a little indention in the top of the wood so that the bit doesn't wander. Then using one of the tiniest bits I have, I drill a pilot hole. And then thread the screw eye in. There we have it. I'm going to use a super fine tip sharpie to write some information on the back of each of these crosses. I wrote the date, my name, the name of the retreat, and the location. And then it's a matter of assembly lining everything. I found it easiest to write one thing at a time. The date first on all of them, then my name, so on and so forth. And here we see all of them done. In order to clear coat them, I decided to suspend them all from a string from their eye hooks. This way I can clear coat all sides at one time. And the clear coat I'm using is a clear spray lacquer. And to finish them off, each cross gets a length of suede cord that I picked up at the craft store. Well, I think these turned out pretty good. It's going to be a constant reminder to all who went of the incredible weekend we had together in Chattanooga. I hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, thanks for watching.